Hello, everybody. Chuck, Northside guy, back with another episode featuring my beloved 1933 Gaudi cards. Uh, in this episode, we're going to look at the first card in this celebrated set. It's a guy named Benny Bengao, a name that might have been lost in baseball history, but here he is. First card in this celebrated set. And he's, uh, it's a card that's often found off-center. He is uh, part of an extremely tough low series for this uh, set. Cards 1 through 52 are very difficult. Uh, this card uh, in particular is very tough to find uh, in my preferred uh, grade level, which is a, a 5 and up. I was unable to find a PSA version uh, at this uh, at my preferred grades, and so I, I purchased this SGC 5.5, beautiful card, and it's also an expensive card. Uh, Beckett's lists it at uh, about two thousand dollars, and that's if you can find it at this level. And I, I want to tell you, I, I, I think it's a really tough decision. Uh, because it really challenges me or the collector, um, you know, just how committed are you to fill a set? You know, after all, at this price, 2000 and up, you can get some really great high-grade um, cards of stars. And, uh, well, I, I, I bit the bullet, and, and, and here it is. Uh, as the first card... Uh, it was subject to a lot of abuse, so that's why there's a lot of uh, difficulty finding ones in this uh, kind of grade and up. Um, as you know, the abuse might be rubber bands put in the pockets by collectors, primarily little boys. It was really getting beat up. And you guys collecting the 1952 tops know what I mean with the Andy Pafco carb. So uh, Benny Bengal was uh, played for the Yankees. Uh, part of the 1923 to 1930 Yankees, including the famous 1927 Yankees team, Murderer's Row. Uh, he was a light-hitting defensive specialist, primarily a catcher. He was on um, his first day as catcher, was on the same day that Lou Gehrig replaced Wally Pipp at first base to begin his famous 2130 game consecutive game uh, run. Obviously, Benny Bengal did not have such a similar path. Uh, Bengal was a close friend of, of uh, Babe Ruth, both on the field and off. And ultimately, he lost his job to an up and comer by the name of Bill Dickey, another Hall of Famer. Um, what a feature in the back here. You'll see that this card has a lot of bleeding through of the front. It's not unusual. Takes some getting used to. You can see here he was no longer with the Yankees. He'd been traded to the St. Louis Browns to finish off his uh, otherwise unremarkable career. Let's take a closer look uh, here. Look at those corners, nice corners. A little bit of a nick up there. Nice corner. Pretty nice corner there. So again, sorry for the glare, gentlemen. Benny Bengal. Hope you enjoyed seeing this very difficult to find card in a in an attractive grade. Take care.